Hi viewers, today we are discussing about Lorentz curve. Lorentz curve is the graphical method of studying dispersion. You can see a question here, show the inequality in wages of two distinct firms A and B using Lorentz curve. The wages are given, number of workers in firm A is given. Number of workers in B is also given. We can write it in the column. Wages is written there. Cumulative wages are written there. After that we have to find the cumulative percentage. The total of the wages is 1000. Therefore finding cumulative percentage we have to divide 120 by 1000. For finding percentage we have to multiply by 100. Similarly. 280 divided by 1000 into 100, the answer will be 28. We can write it there. 28, 48, 72, 100. Next one we are doing for firm A. The frequencies are given in the question. It is 20, 15, 20. 25 and 20. After that, we are finding cumulative frequency. Adding all these things together. 20, 20 plus 15, 35. 35 plus 20, 55. Then 80. After that, 100. Then cumulative percentage. 20 divided by total, total is 100 and the percentage is we are multiplying by 100, the answer will be 20. For the next one, the cumulative percentage will be 35. 55, 80 and 100. After that we can go to firm B. The frequencies are given. After that we are finding the cumulative frequency by adding each value. 150, 150 plus 100, 250. 250 plus 90, 340. Adding all together, we will get a 500. The next one is we have to find the cumulative percentage. That is 150 divided by total is 500 into percentage. For that, for, for finding percentage, we are multiplying by 100. The answer will be 30. Next one, 250 divided by 1000, sorry, 500 into 100. The answer will be 50. Sixty-eight, ninety. then the last one is 100. Now we can plot the points in a graph paper. From x axis and y axis, we have to take up to 100 because the percentage we are taking. In the y axis, we are taking the percentage of wages and the x axis percentage of workers. From the data, we will get a cumulative percentage. Firm A is there. That one we are taking in the x axis. Firm A cumulative percentage x axis. And the wages cumulative percentage we are taking in the y axis. Similarly, in firm B, cumulative percentage we are taking in the x axis. Step we have to draw the equal distribution line by joining 0, 0, and 100, 100. After that, for firm A, take 20 in the x axis and 12 in the y axis and plot the point. Then 35 in the x axis 
and 28 in the y axis plot that point then 55 in the x axis and 48 in the y axis plot the point then 80 now 80 70 80 72 Last one is a hundred hundred. Now we can join the curve and joining to the point zero zero hundred hundred. Now for firm B, we are plotting the point thirty tall and 50 28 then 68 is in the x axis and 48 in the y axis then 90 72 join the line using a curved line now we will get the Lorentz curve for firm B and join to 0 0 this firm B from this curve what we can comment there is lesser variation in firm A as the Lorentz curve is so close to the line of equal distribution. And or we can say there is more variation in firm B as the Lorentz curve is so far from the line of equal distribution. We can conclude it like this. It is clear from the above graph that inequality in the distribution of wages is more in firm B than in firm A.